Hello, hello, Sagittarius. It's your turn for your um, relationship reading for May. I hope you all are doing well. Right, lay it out a little bit differently. Alright, your first card is your current position. Um, this is a general reading, so it may not apply to all of you Sagittarius. Um, but currently, if you're in a relationship or you're single and looking, um, this is just general. So basically, what I'm feeling with this is your current position is the Ten of Cups. So I feel like, you know, this is a family card. This has to do with... Um, it could be celebration, relationships. Um, I feel like things are in progress. Um, things are ultimately... Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. Um, you know, changing. Um, maybe you're trying to grow your family. Um, it's weird, two kids right here, two little girls. Um, so it could be indicating, you know, growth. Um, rebirth possibly um, but I just feel like there's you know something about growth here um, we'll get more into it afterwards um, so second card the Emperor card is your challenge card um, this is a card of Aries so it is possible you could be dealing with an Aries also you know Leo um, this also is a card about control um, it is a father figure that you could be dealing with too. Um, but also I feel like, you know, maybe you're trying to control or trying to get control of your environment, of your family, something that has to do with that. Um, where you're trying to uh, move things f further uh, the way to your liking. But I feel like it's more about family. So... Um, Maybe when it comes to this relationship, whatever that may apply to, um, you're trying to get in balance. You're trying to, you know, maybe you are the one providing for your family. So you're trying to get control of your finances. You're trying to move forward as best as you can um, in the relationship. And then the third card is your strength card. So I feel ultimately for some of you, you are at a good spot. Um, for growth, for rebirth, for things that um, that you're trying to head towards. But also to I'm feeling with this card, some of you um, may be kind of like depleted and you just want to, you know, relax for the moment. You want to regain your balance when it comes to, you know, family, relationship, kids. Um, I feel like it's maybe indicating maybe a vacation's coming of some sort where you just want to, you know, get away from it. You know, we've been dealing with a lot of uh, shifts and, um, like, our energies haven't been all the greatest um, and feeling with that. So you're trying to get back on, you know, maybe back in shape, maybe back, you know, more into your power when it comes to stability, when it comes to you know your life force which is a sun card you know your inner child your inner world you're ultimately trying to be more happy um within the relationship but i'm still feeling you know be careful where your energy is going when it comes to you know trying to stabilize things at home trying to stabilize the relationship that you don't overwork yourself or overprove yourself I'm feeling um, but try to stay on top of things when it comes to you know who are you giving to and you know you don't want to feel depleted at the end of the day especially if you have a family and kids you want to try to stay on top of you know you know take a time take a break out for yourself relax if you need to um, to regain balance um, but I feel like things are pretty good for you guys now, past influence is the four of um, pentacles. So I feel like with that card, it's indicating, you know, maybe you've been dealing with a lot of feeling like um, you really can't give to the situation. 
Um, it could be a family dynamic. Maybe you're holding on to something. Maybe you need to let go of something. So I just feel like when it comes to, you know, again, your energy, a lot of you give too much or you're holding back on something. I know Gemini had this. You could be dealing with a Gemini as well. Or you're holding back too much or you're not letting anyone, you know, take advantage of you. I don't know. I'm just feeling that. Um, so be very careful where your energy is going and try not to hold yourself back. And maybe that's what it is too because Gemini had that too so when it comes to, you know, your passions in life, what you're really um, working towards. That could indicate too, you know, your passion. You have got a lot of passion going on when it comes to the things that are important to you. So maybe that's why you're holding every... Um, this could be finances. You're holding your finances together and stability within the family, the home life. So you, so you can actually, um, you know, be on top of things. But again, you know, I feel like you want, you want to go after your passions, and maybe it's indicating too. A lot of you haven't been. Maybe you're holding yourself back from your passions. Um, there's a horse right here. Maybe, you know, you want to do traveling more. You want to get outside more. Um, so I feel like don't don't give in to the powers of other people, their ideas, their dreams. When you you have a lot of passions underneath just sitting, and maybe that's why it is. It feels nostalgic. It feels like you can't move. But I just honestly feel like you need to let go of whatever's holding you back so you can fully be in your power. And that's why um, the emperor is here, you know, fully regain your power once again so you can be at your fullest and your best. It could be, you know, a change in how you're eating. It could be because I know a lot of Sagittarius, one of the changes that they're going through is, you know, they're looking at their health, they're looking at everything, you know, when it comes to being their best self forward. And then the future uh, influence is a chariot. So it's all about, you know, your perception, your direction. You could be dealing with a cancer as well. Um, but I feel like it's more about, you know, what are you willing to let go so you can, um, you know, invest in you? and your time and your energy on you and like don't get me wrong you know if you if you have children if you have a family to take care of and provide I just feel like you know sometimes that can weigh us down when it comes to our goals and our plans and I feel like if you do have kids um, just try to balance it out time for you time to recharge recuperate and I feel like that's why the sun's here too is it's indicating you need to recharge and let go of something that's not working for you long term so you can make a better decision and choice when it comes to you know your direction on where you want to move forward when it comes to you know family the home life um, when it comes to um, ultimately you know you could be single and you just you're tired of not being fulfilled inside I know Gemini's got kind of the same type of cards so maybe Gemini's reading can apply to yours if um, I don't something about that um, because it's like it's not about letting go of things that are important to you if it's family but just let go of the idea that whatever's stopping you from moving forward and I feel like that's a big indication in this relationship whoever this may apply to is don't let people suck you dry you know don't lose yourself in the process of taking care of others if that is families but try to give back to yourself as much with the sun card and then your outcome is the strength card so another fire energy so we got you know Sagittarius Aries Leo so maybe those those have um, meaning to you in some form maybe you're dealing with fire signs as well um, I just feel like with the strength card, you know, it's going to take a lot of strength on your part to really start putting yourself as a priority, um, especially if it looks like, you know, you want to move forward on something, especially when, you know, you have 
family, your work, you know, you really got to make some time for yourself, you know, whether it's, you know, having a family vacation uh, once a month, do something fun with um, the kids. Um, but I just feel like, you know, if you lose yourself in the process of, you know, when it comes to your passions, I just feel like you got to be careful when it comes to your energy. I just feel like a lot of people, um, some of the Sagittarius I know, you know, work can get involved, people can get involved sometimes, and I just feel like, you know, you got to, you got to manage your energy, because it's like, you don't want to deal with people that are going to suck you dry, and I feel like some of you have done that, where things are sucking the life force out of you, you know, we got two sun Leo cards, you know, pretty much, so you're kind of depleted, and I feel like, you know, you really got to recharge, you know, take some time off if you have to, and then, you know, get back to your priorities of what's important to you. But I feel like there's something um, that maybe you're still having to see. Maybe that was a past tense. In order to move forward, you need to let go of something that's keeping you stuck from experiencing, you know, life back into yourself. You know, give to your family, but also, you know, you want to give to yourself as well so you don't feel depleted at the end of the day. And maybe that's what's going on with that. Anyways, um, let's see if I want to say anything else. But yeah, give to yourself. As much, like I said, in Gemini's reading, I think it will apply to you. You could be dealing with a Gemini um, for some of you. You know, as much as you're giving to people, be be very mindful and careful to give to yourself as much. You know, if, if, if you like making people happy, that's fine. But it's like, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to be depleted dry. You know, this could be a work situation, too. Maybe you're overworking. You just really need to focus on you and, you know, have some fun. Maybe the sun card is implying, you know, have some fun. Summer's coming here soon. So, yeah, do something fun. Um, get back in the light. <laughs> Anyways, bye-bye.